Hello and welcome into the latest edition of PL Express. Kay Murray and Yanish Mihailik here as always. Boy, have we got a lot to talk about today. Let's not wait. Let's get straight into it. We're going to touch on the biggest games across the weekend and look ahead as well as that massive game between Arsenal and Manchester City coming up. But let's start with Chelsea, Yanish. A draw with West Ham. How can they spend all this money and not be able to win a game? Uh, yeah, I guess uh, you got to wait for the future. Look, uh, I mean, other than making excuses because, you know, the present is very, very important. Uh, I, I love this project. Uh, it's chaotic. It's it's crazy. You know, players coming in and out. Uh, you know, the obvious things to say is, you know, how do you integrate all these players when you play every three days and you really have no time in training to work on things? It looked good early, didn't it? I mean, Joao Felix again. And the reason I'm excited about it, because I saw Joao Felix coming back from suspension, looking, looking very, very good, uh, obviously. I saw Mudrik at times. Uh, uh, again, loose, of course, and and showing better than the previous game when he was yanked at uh, at um, uh, halftime, I think, without really any stats to talk about. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm willing to give Chelsea benefit of the doubt. I understand where they're going. I also understand that there's nothing major that they're going to achieve probably this season. I think Chelsea themselves understand it. It's a longer term project. You saw seven players under the age of 24. What do we expect from them, right? Uh, you know, in the second half, West Ham played a little bit better. They were smarter. I think they dropped off, didn't allow Chelsea any space and behind the sort of space they had in the first half. But uh, I've made peace with Chelsea and this whole project and I like it. And I'll tell you what, Chelsea fans are used to winning now. Uh, that's changing. We all know it. I suspect they're starting to understand that just a little bit. And I tell you, if I were a Chelsea fan, I think I'd be excited about what may happen uh, going forward. I know, you know, we, we're going to have to wait for that, but it's not as bad as everyone thinks. Well, this is a really nice positive outlook. Obviously, we're hearing all the doom and gloom when it comes to Chelsea, especially with the money that they've spent. But if, you, if you're seeing it that way, Janusz, and you're seeing that it's a long-term project, and you have to wait for these players to gel. Obviously, there's so many to work out your best team is crazy to even think about for Graham Potter. But what does this mean for him? He should be given a chance to, to get the best out of this side. He should be. I think we're reading reports that this is he's going to be there no matter what. Uh, for years now, I just read an article. I don't know if that's true. Uh, I doubt it. I think if, say, next season Chelsea starts uh, uh, very, very slow, he's going to he's going to for sure be gone. But I think I look at the players. I look at the potential. I, you know, I, I mentioned Mudrik. I've mentioned um, uh, 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 Joe Felix. <laughs> Joe well, Felix. What about Bad Bad yeah. Badia Shiel? I mean. Badia Shiel. Again, Again, exceptional as well. And as we, as I imagine, there's going to be more coming in the summer as well. And I would imagine that there's going to be one or two players with a little bit more experience. We often talk about that striker, which I think they're going to go after somebody that can, you know, if not guarantee you uh, 20 goals a season, maybe something close to that. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.